standing in a really impressive abandoned place. So before we're gonna document it for you, we want to tell you the story. The people who used to live here, at least the man or the woman, she was a costume designer or he was a costume designer. And this place is a really incredible time capsule because it has been abandoned around 1995-1996. And yeah, I just can't wait to show you this place because Believe me, you are not going to regret to watch this week's episode. Okay, so we will start off in the living room, but we cannot talk very loud. Because this house is attached to the neighbors. We don't want to disturb them, of course. We have no wrong intentions, but we want to document this place. It's just so beautiful and forgotten in time. So over here was the living room with the family. There is some beautiful antiques left. For example, look at this clock. Where is an old letter? So the man who lived there, his name was Henraert. Monsieur Henraert. We are in the French part of Belgium today. Look. I don't know what this exactly is, but it says 500 million. Oh. It has sort of a medal or something. Even their necklaces and jewelry are left. But they look religious calendar indeed from January 1996. Look how cool this is. Oh yeah, it's made of shells. With envelopes. Take a look at this text suddenly. This cabinet, it's such an untouched state. I mean, by untouched, that everything is left how it used to be. Take a look in this drawer. It's just unbelievable. All their glasses, little shot glasses, plates. It's just crazy to imagine, but it has all been left behind. Literally everything. So as, you t as we told you, the man or the woman was a costume designer and of course she or he would need a single sewing machine with a lamp to sew everything. Unfortunately it's broken, but you can still see the wire on it, which is really impressive. This was also a little kitchen pot over here, they had a furnace, pans, all their spices over here. And then, take a look at this part. So over here used to be their stove. And then, man, this was a very old-fashioned scale. You can still see the arrow moving. It's just completely full of cobwebs as well. And by the way, talking about coach webs, this is a real time capsule. Look behind you and then above you. Oh my. This was above the kitchen. 
Yeah, and they are legit everywhere. Also with birds. It's made out of copper. Yeah, those are cowbells. Wow. And I think over here, they used to hang up their clothes. Also full of cobwebs everywhere. I don't want to touch it because it's just so beautiful. It's frozen in time, really. Giant coffee grind over here. Used to do the coffee beans right in here and then grind it and they could collect them underneath there. So well, we're going to enter the next room. Yeah, and first have a look. This used to be the main door. And all their keys of this property are hanging up there. This DJ is so, so unique. What I really like over there is this old fashioned clock. Wow, this is a beautiful one. Beautiful empty, it's such a shame it isn't being restored and eventually full of cobwebs. You can also tell that the ceiling painting is peeling off. All the paintings on the wall. Yeah. Everywhere is stuff in this room. And come have a look. This is really cool. It's an old case. For a cat or a dog? Oh, I think yeah. for a cat. It's a travel, uh, travel case. I really like this painting. Yeah. And it's actually from the city we are in currently. It's from 1986. Wow. It's really long ago. So I think. This used to be Mr. Henra back in his younger days. Child picture of him. And what is really, really cool. But I don't think we can show it properly. But look closely on top of the closet. Oh man. It's a fox. Oh, okay. I don't it, but if, if we peel it off, I think we will make too many sounds. Well, if you want to try it. Alright, I can. Very, very silently. Because this is a beautiful piece of texture to me. Oh, I have to take it off and then well, rip it off. I will show it with the foil. Take a look inside. This is a fox. So they wanted to restore this, but eventually never happened. And what I also noticed is the ceiling. This is just great, how they decorated it. Okay, so we are inside the next room and this room is also just beautiful. Over here, they had a closet many, full many of books. books. Wow. And take a look, over here, there's a model ship. E cheeks, that's really disgusting as a dead mouse. Yeah. Also really sad of course. But how cool is this thing? It's like a marine model ship. And then over here they had a stove. But on top of the stove it's crazy. I mean take a look at the ceiling. It's just almost completely collapsed. I can look through it, really. <laughs> and all the parts of the ceiling have been falling on this marble fireplace over here all the parts of the ceiling are just resting on the beautiful antiques and take a look at the crucifix it's almost falling down because of the bricks wow it's just crazy time stood still even the butt is still standing on the fire uh, on the stove because back in the days they used to boil water by putting the pan on top of the stove. What is also really cool is this. You wouldn't even notice this because 
literally everything is decaying. This is a boot. Look, I don't know if I can probably pick it. Yeah, there's just a pair thing. of boots. Man, yeah, this is really crazy. It's such an interesting place. So this was the woman of Mr. Henrar with a dog inside of the actual home. That's just so, so cool to see. You can really imagine how the life of the past occupants of this place was. They also had a little sideboard here in the corner. You can just see all the ducks <laughs> between the bricks. Yeah. You have to really watch closely to properly see them, but man. And then over here used to be a desk, but look, man, everything that has fallen apart are still the artifacts. Yeah, and the old files. So they actually used to do their work here, just the old files. And all the books yeah. are left there, even the pens inside of this holder. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Cobwebs inside. Man. Oh wait, no. Is this a photo book? No, are you serious? Yeah, Man. this it was. Yeah, oh, but the pictures are all ruined I by can't the decay. I can really open it. Man. And then, what is really cool? What I never expected that would happen with a cactus. Look. <laughs> they become brown. Yeah, brown or purple, they just lose their green color. And what's also really cool, this is natural decay, this is no vandalism. But the window is just broken right over here. This used to be a little decoration tool for Christmas. Oh, this was an old camera case. Oh yeah. Still the old lenses inside. From Kodak. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Philips television. And then also take a look in this cabinet over here. Just all their lecture and reading material is still there. Okay, before we go upstairs, there is one thing where I really like. Everywhere in this house is TK. And then look, this is just so colorful, still. And it's an old strip cartoon. They must have had children. Yeah. So here, still also a coat left. Hmm. It looks like, like Burberry. Yeah, in the modern days. Yeah. Then we are going upstairs. And you can also see posters here on the wall. like a caricature, maybe a political statement. Man, was this like an elevator for... Yeah, it looks like. In case they couldn't walk up the stairs anymore. Uh -huh. This was from the lady. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. This is crazy, so you can definitely tell that we cannot walk any way further than this. But imagine this state of a time capsule. So right over there are still the pieces of clothes hanging. And then right over here, there's just still the desk and everything standing. But it wouldn't last long until everything falls into decay and will never be restored. Again, so crazy, so crazy. And sad at the same time. Yeah, well, but I think this is the only room that is pretty stable and safe, I believe. Wow, this was a beautiful children's bedroom. Take a look. There's also still a stroller standing 
with a doll inside. It's crazy. Still a watch. Literally no burglars, no vandalists found this place, but everything you see happened by nature. Natural decay. There, teddy bear. Oh, and we have seen this before. Wood burning art from 1974. It's a white mill. And this is crazy. Yeah. I mean, time has literally frozen inside of this home. Just still, there are clothings yeah. and everything that to dry. Well, yeah, the last towels are still on the drying line. After they just came from the washing washer, it just was left like this. Like vanished. Yeah, they vanished. It's so crazy. And above here, a crucifix. Actually, next to it. A small clock yeah small alarm clock again many files left also over here they had a little vanity and still a small piece of children clothes left and see what we can find in the drawers some matches those are sugar uh, blocks sugar cubes you know okay just socks yeah. from the children. The drawers are barely opening. They have been closed for such a long time. Just but you can tell that everything was left inside of this beautiful home. Yeah, they are literally completely filled with clothes. I can barely move it even. Won't close. No. Well, normally we want to leave it as we find it, but it's, it's impossible. Yeah, it's stuck. It's such a time capsule. I'll also I take mean. a look in the wardrobe. Oh man, it doesn't sound well. All oh, from that side. All their clothes, literally everything. It's necklace. Oh yeah, this is a rosary. It's crazy. Some stones. Fossils, actually. Oh, yeah, those are fossils. Wow. That is crazy. I think those are very old books right there. Some old scriptions. I mean, it doesn't look to me like a newspaper, but more like a reading book. Comic books from Baba Bobet. <laughs> I actually have never seen them in French. No. So this is Suske and Whiskey, very popular in Belgium and also in the French part. It's called Baba Bobet. And yeah, these are the French ones. Wait. Okay. Le Oje Blanche. L'oiseau. All these dialogues, man. Yeah, yeah this was definitely the bedroom of the child. Yeah. But right now we are going to enter the room, and this was the actual main bedroom of the costume designer. Take a look. Wow, this is crazy. And you know why? You can still see the spinning wheel. You can still see the wool. But that's not the only thing. Take a look, right over there. Those are the actual costumes Beautiful she designed dress. and she made. Oh, that's crazy, man. Oh, take a look at this one as well. Sadly enough, it's laying on the ground, but it's beautiful. All these shiny decorations it's all walnuts laying on the ground as well i have no clue why there are walnuts but what is just so crazy look at this head it's just covered with feathers yeah yeah 
those are some towels inside of here. So, pair of jeans. Wait a second. Yeah, looks like something from military. Marine. Oh my yeah. god. This is an old jacket from the Marine of Belgium. So I am presuming that the woman was a costume designer, but her man went to the Navy oh. and worked for the Navy as a Navy soldier. Holy. This is from National Belgium. Look at the button on this. This is so crazy. So let's take a look in the wardrobe right now. Are there even more costumes? Yeah, there are. I mean, oh. at least sort of. This one is really beautiful. Wait a second, I'm just gonna take it out for you. Oh no, 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 no. it's this one. And it's really heavy. Man, Ooh. this thing is heavy. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy, man. She definitely had a good style. Yeah. So I'm actually really wondering. This must have been definitely a tool or appliance to knit clothes, but how they used it? I mean, this is some handwork they did back in the days. I think if you uh, spin this, this will also spin. You see what it is? These are from, from these small needles. And when you spin it, you wave something. Yeah, I see. I think it will be dead. And it's so cool to imagine that back in the days everything was crafted by hand. And nowadays everything is just driven by machinery. Such a complete different time era. And the spinning wheel. Oh, those are even more fossils right there in the cigar box. Still see these shells also inside of it. Very impressive. All right, that was it for the abandoned time capsule home of the costume designer. This place was crazy because the old equipment, the sewing machine, and besides the costume she made. We are really impressed to see and we also found out that the man was in the navy or the military so yeah, this, I had never seen a uniform. This uniform was really special. Like Moreno said, we never found something like this, especially in Belgium. What I really liked was the big flag of Belgium, just the sign of it. And yeah, the DK over here, it was insane. This is a real, real time capsule. So if you enjoyed this place as much as we did, you know what to do guys, it's time to leave now so I do my mask off and if you like it please hit a big thumbs up, you can subscribe to our channel below, also just leave a nice comment down below and we will reply, uh, try to reply to every one of you and yeah after all uh, have a nice day and we see you on our next adventure, peace out.